take care of yourself, take care of your friends and loved ones around you, and spread the good word that vitamin E reverses polyunsaturated fatty acid damage, right? And our vitamin E requirements are increased six times with polyunsaturated fatty acids. So my personal protocol was four twice a day, four capsules twice a day. It's a very affordable product. And the timing is best with a fatty meal because it's a fat soluble vitamin. So I like to have it with butter and potatoes and my bone broth, or I'll have it with my steak. It goes really well with a good grass fed steak. Let me tell you. And it's an endurance thing. If you work out, if you, weight train, whatever kind of exercise, you'll notice that vitamin E will actually increase your endurance. It's a, per, it's a performance athletic booster. And that's really cool because it's a very affordable one. So that's the dosage, that's the timing. And as far as safety, you know, you can go low and slow if, if you want. I'm the kind of guy, I just jumped right in from what I've read on the studies, it's very safe, but just go low and slow if, if that makes you feel better. And just, you know, write down your how you're feeling every day. Just track and log and cut out nuts, seeds, grains, legumes, soy, and most vegetables, because those are all sources of PUFA. And absolutely cut out the vegetable oils. If you go to a friend's or family member's house, please, without even asking their permission, grab their canola oil, grab their safflower oil, whatever it is, whatever PUFA oil they have, even avocado, if they're heating avocado oil, which is not stable, <laughs> throw it in the trash. The only oil that I like, like say if I'm gonna eat a small salad, which I just do mainly for enjoyment, I like arugula and dandelion here and there, especially with the steak, olive oil and you never heat olive oil, and olive oil has a lot of monounsaturated fat, similar to avocado oil, but you never wanna heat avocado or, or uh, olive oil. You wanna stick with coconut oil, ghee. Coconut oil and ghee are the only oils that I cook with. And so a lot, I mean, I see, I see people buying Beyond Meat burgers, I see them buying all this stuff at the grocery store, they never look at the ingredient list. What is the Beyond Meat fake burger? It's one of the first ingredients is canola oil. I think there's an intentional poisoning going on. So please spread the word, read the, read the ingredient list. If there's canola oil, oil in your product, just throw it in the trash. If you have an omega-3 supplement, especially a DHA supplement, algae oil supplement, just take it and throw it in the trash and get on vitamin E from MitoLife, MitoLife Proof of Protect saving your butt from poofas.